Welcome to a Rin channel and welcome back to Sheet Metal Course. We've now learned quite a few of the sheet metal tools and the next one we are going to check out is called the Swap Flange. This feature, as the name might suggest, allows us to sweep a flange along a path. So it's quite similar to Swap Boss Base or a Swap Cut in normal modeling. It's also fairly similar to a miter flange, but I'll show you a different later on in the video. This is quite a specialist tool, so we're just gonna look at it quite briefly. So as we probably know, to create a swept boss base or a swept cut, we need two elements. We need a profile, and then we need a pad to sweep the profile along. Open up our previous bar, and if we're still got that cross break feature, that we can just delete those or any other features. So we've just got the base flange again. The first thing that we need to create a swept flange is a profile sketch. This is essentially the flange profile. So I'm going to zoom in, I'm gonna start a sketch on this small face here. And then I'm gonna go normal too. Then I'm gonna get the line tool. And I'm gonna draw the flange profile. It doesn't matter if we've got sharp corners, these will be rounded off automatically. I'm gonna add some smart dimensions. Let's just say 30. And 20. And then we can exit the sketch. And if you look at it in 3D, it looks like this. It's just gonna be the profile for our new flange. Now, if this was a normal sweep, we'd also need some kind of bad sketch to sweep that along. But in this case, we can actually just use the edges directly. So all we need to do is go up to the swap flange on the sheet metal tab. Then in this first box, let's choose the flange profile that we just drew. And then in the second box here, we can choose the edges where we want that flange. And we can go all the way around like this. And the first thing that we might notice is that in the corner there, we've got that nice curved corner now. And if we add this fourth edge, we can actually have a fully closed profile all the way around. We've got all of the usual options here on the left, the flange position, the pen allowance, things like that. And if you're happy with how that looks, we can press OK to add that feature. We can actually flatten this part. And here we can see all the bent lines. But if we try to bend this with a traditional bending process, then it probably won't really work. We'd have to use something like stamping. So the difference between this and the miter flange is it doesn't miter the corners, so it doesn't add any bend relief in a the corner there. It just goes all the way around with that circular bend. So if I now suppress this swipe flange, but then I use the same profile sketch to make a miter flange, and then select the same edges like this, We can see we've now got a fairly similar shape, but the corners are very different. We've got these cuts in the corner here. This is especially obvious if we flatten it. We've got this cut out in the corner that might need to be welded up, but this part might actually be easier to bend, depending on what kind of bending process we're using. So depending on what we want our end product to do, and probably more importantly, how we're gonna make it, we can use these two different options, the swept flange and the miter flange, to produce a similar result, but with this important difference of the mitered corners there. So to recap, a swept flange allows us to sweep a flange profile along one or more edges similar to a swept boss base. To use it, first we have to create a profile sketch, which will be for the flange. This can be lines and arcs, and then we can use this sketch along with the edges to create the swept flange feature. This feature doesn't add bent relief in the corners, so in that respect, it's different in the miter flange, which does add the bent relief in the corner, but both of them are useful in their own right. In the next video, we are going to look at the fold and unfold features, which are sort of related to the flatten feature, but with some very important differences. Thank you for watching, please subscribe if you like, I hope it can be a little helpful and useful.